<laughs> you said you're <girl>, Eugene. <laughs> oh, Eugene. Look at that. Love you, Jean. Hi. <laughs> That's a cutie pie. I can't see it. These are cute. Um. Oh, I I have a way we can get suggestions. Check this out. I got a book. I got a book. Well, let's do it. Leave it um, to you, Jay. To have a book. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! So let's do it. David Escobedo wrote a book, and it's just suggestions. Is, <laughs> it's all, it's, is it? What? That's amazing. Is it? Uh, <gasps> are they great. like? Or is it for specific things? Like it's if you're doing this type. Nope. Nope. No. Look, it's just That's pages of it. <gasps> suggestions. Is it you? Son of a gun. Can we Son maybe can we solicit somebody to give us a page number or something? What do you think? Sure. I if you want uh oh Paul Rabinowitz. <laughs> Paul Rabinowitz said page 69 and then ha, ha. <laughs> oh, Paul. And is there, is, are there three are there three suggestions per yeah. page? Yeah, I think I think they're all fair game. <laughs> oh my god, well get ready for this, Philip. Our three <laughs> suggestions are Oh shoot! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Very cool. This we already hard. did that. We conjured that. We already it already happened. Yeah. Pre pre Facebook. <laughs> that's it. All right. That's our. Those are our suggestions. All right. Something's supposed to happen, right? Yeah. Because I feel like. We've been sitting here for 20 minutes and nothing like, happened. I, well, I told you guys, they said if you've imbibed anything that it's it's less conducive. So oh. just just hold hands, hold hands. Oh, look. You, Diana, Eugene isn't conducive either. If we're gonna talk to the spirits. Well, we don't know, Eugene might be conducive. That's possible. I'm sorry. All right. I told you, I told you I was gonna have to bring him, and it's I told right. you I, I was gonna drink at least a beer or two before we started this thing. Oh, I'm I've I've had three Hennessy's. Well, in true transparency, <laughs> I'm a yeah. little tipsy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little fucked up. <laughs> so so am I. So am I. So let's just forget about. It. Let's try again and just okay. hold hands. Okay. Just clear your mind and breathe. And the rest will follow. Okay. Clear your mind. Clear your mind. <laughs> and the rest will follow. Guys, I swear to you, I feel like my new place is haunted. And if you could just. Oh, it's totally haunted. Well, let's prove it by doing this seance. Okay, Dave and Diane, hold hands. A little ditty. Hold it. Dave and Diane. <laughs> Two American kids. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say anything, but you're the one who moved to 666 Ghost Lane. Well, Seriously. I was curious. I was curious. And I know it was a stupid idea. And now I'm regretting it. And if you guys would just bear with me, I just want to make sure that whatever is here is not malevolent. If it's benign, I'm fine. And I will get along with whatever energy it is. I just feel like it's dark. It's dark. Now, Stan, I know what malevolent means, but let's say if I didn't know what it means, what would it mean? Malevolent means it's a toxic energy. Like say maybe there was a murder or there was a, a abuse in the home or something or, or just bad energy. That's what malevolent means, Dave. Where, where'd you go? No, I just heard something behind me. Well, of course you did because my place is haunted and I just want to prove it. So come on, hold hands, hold hands, guys. And, okay. and, and breathe. It's tough for me to breathe right now <sighs> through my nose. I can't actually get, so can I, can I mouth breathe it? I think mouth breathe it. Let's, but if you do, we all have to do it. We can't, I can't nose breathe 
and Diana, your mouth breathing. We, we all should breathe the same way. All right, Stan? Okay. All right, fine. Mouth breathe. It'll be like meditation. All right. On the count of three, we'll breathe in. One, two, three. <sighs> and out. Clear the energy, clear the energy, clear the energy, clear the energy. And on the count of three, we breathe in. One, two, three. Good thoughts, good thoughts, good thoughts, good thoughts. And my place is not haunted. My place is not haunted. My place is not haunted. And silence. <laughs> You're done. Diane! What? Bonnie, oh, now come Daddy, on! You done. I need you to just be conducive oh, no. for one. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Jesus, oh, no. You should have got a dog sitter. You oh, know, no. you should have got a dog sitter because this is Dave? not conducive. Dave? Oh, uh, 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 I don't buy it. Give, 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 give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. All right, fine, fine. Let's just have fun. Let's just turn this into a housewarming. Forget the seance. You guys just don't believe me. Whenever I, you just don't believe me. You're, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just having a hard time. I just think this house was a mistake. Are you kidding? Buying a house in the middle of a pandemic? No, that's not a mistake. Well, the go getter. You've always been ahead of the curve. I know. Well, the rates were good, and you know, and uh, it's just everything is right. It felt right, and you know me. I believe in energy, and I felt the energy of this home, despite the address, was it was calling to me. You know what? Screw it. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Okay. Breathe in on the count of three. One, two, three. And out. Whoever is here, did you summon me to this space? You guys are right. I'm sorry. I'm a jerk. I just let's just have fun. Remember, like in college, we had fun, and I wasn't adult. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I hate being an adult. I hate buying homes. I mean, I thought it would be an investment. I thought it would be smart, and I'm not smart. I'm not smart. I'm not as. I'm just. I thought I was. I got a degree, but for what? If not for what I majored in, you guys just let's just have fun. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I was mean. And I'm sorry, I'm just sorry, I'm sorry. Just, let's just drink to the new home. <sighs> and now I just think maybe since I have shared, maybe it would be a, a since I've shared of myself, why don't we just go around the circle, starting with you, Diane, and maybe share something close to you because I feel very vulnerable right now. I don't wanna be the only vulnerable person here tonight. Um, okay. Um, I guess what I could share is that um, I, I think it was a mistake to buy this house. It's vulnerable. I think. Very vulnerable. <laughs> I think that you weren't that fun in college to begin with. So trying to make it more fun now is going to be hard. Dude, you wore a three-piece suit every day. I was pre-med. I was pre-med. You wore a three-piece suit every day. You were so I, work. I had just because I had goals, unlike you guys who were token up every day back at campus in the dorms constantly. I had goals. I had my eyes on a future and a house, mind you, which I now have. Yeah. And where are you still living? In the dorms. Yeah. You're still there. Hey. I happen to get off campus. I'm off campus now. Where am I? Where's Stan? He's off campus. campus. 
Yeah, you're right. All right, and true, you know, and since we're all vulnerable right now, thank you, Diane. I'll accept your vulnerable moment. I like to go around the circle. Dave, please share. Is, am I sharing my vulnerable moment? I felt like you were starting a new round of something. I still have a vulnerable thing, but no I rules, want... no rules. Let's just let's play by your rules. If you have a different idea, by all means, trust your intuition. Oh, we're gonna play by my rules. Okay, so if this is true for you, then you have to take off an article of clothing. And Stan, if you want to take off your kerchief first from your pocket, that's fine. But like, if it's true for you, then we just all remove an article. And, and Diane, you can remove your hair tie if you want. That's an article of clothing. Let's just- By the way, it. by the way, cute hair tie, Diane. Thank I you. meant to say something sooner, but I was distracted by the dog and I'm a little bit allergic but it's okay, it's cute. Fine, so you're making a statement and if it's true, we remove an article of clothing. Fine, That's we'll right. play by your rules. It's vulnerable in a way, fine. It, it's like vulnerable removal. Um, before we start, just I'm gonna put it out there. Anybody, anybody wanna get high? Cause I did bring some great stuff. If you wanna get high, we can get high here and Kristen your place, Stan, it's up to you. Um, Chris and it, I don't care if you want to light up, light up. I'm just going to stick with my beverage of choice. All right. Oh, I got an inner ear thing. I'm losing my balance. That's why I don't, you probably are wondering why I don't swim anymore. I got an inner ear thing. Yeah, you were such a great swimmer. Yeah, and you had, I might swimming. remind you, you had a future in that, but you just gave it up. Yeah, I mean, I do have a swimmer's body. Uh, there isn't much body in swimming. No, <laughs> there's yeah, not at all. It's a pay to play sport. Yeah, it's like a life, life figure, like a fish in the water anyway. Yeah, go ahead. We're, Thank you. Your rules. Your Thank you. Um, you're, okay. You're welcome. Um, oh, here. Oh, I'm passing on that. Thank you. Oh, all right. Med school. Um, if, if, you, yeah, Diane, hit that shit. <laughs> hit it. Um, if you've ever felt alone, I felt alone a lot this year. Here it comes out. So. Thank you. That was vulnerable. Do you care to elaborate? Because I feel like I've been there for you constantly. Sure. Um, yeah, I felt like I've had a, um, I've been really lonely. Like it's, it's, you know, bone loneliness where it like goes to your, right to your bones and you, you feel like sometimes, you know, you're, you're alone and, you know, sometimes maybe you're trying too hard and, and the people around you sense that you're trying too hard. And so you say, Hey, maybe I'm going to back off a little bit. And then you, you, you back off maybe too far. And then you're like way far back. And then sometimes right. you're, you're sitting at home and you're like, ah, I know somebody's calling, but I just don't want to answer that phone because yeah. I, I got nothing really to say right, right now at this point. So I just feel like I'm, I'm not going to feel better after this conversation. So then you just sit down and then you, you start thinking like, what is the, what's the purpose of all of this? Why are we here? Like, and then you think, well, that's what most philosophies and religion are about is finding the true purpose. And then you go, maybe it's, maybe I'll find something on the internet. So then you go to YouTube and then you get sucked into this, this rabbit right. hole of conspiracy theories. And right. then you're like, well, it could be true. I mean, there is, we, there is a possibility we didn't land on the moon. I mean, there's, there's yeah. no one to say that we did, or we didn't land on the moon. And then you start looking at other theories and you're like, well, if I had to okay. buy one okay. okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. My rules, my rules. I'm taking it back. My rules, my house. When I call next time, just pick up, please. I I know we were somewhat estranged lately, but just pick up next time. Just pick, I, I'm gonna pass on that. You guys have, have your fun. Just pick up, buddy. Okay. I'm serious. I will continue to be there for you, even though we don't share our space. Well, lonely bones. What? What? What, Diane? Lonely bones. <laughs> Speaking of which, that'd be a great name for a band. Lonely bones, not answering the phones. 
Oh, here she goes with her poetry. All right, let's all right, let's hear it. Go ahead. You, you have you you have the mic. Go. You got the mic. Drop it, D. Lowly bones. Part of a skeletal system. That no one's home. <laughs> you guys, I'm too high for this. <laughs> Solid. This is yeah. great. Um, guys, I, I, you know, I, um, okay, I'm going to be real honest, and it's my turn actually in the We're all being it. honest, Dan. I know, we're here. I know. But we've, since we've gone around, it's back to me again. I'm going to opt to be vulnerable again. And um, is that the handkerchief monogram, Diane? Is it monogram? <laughs> That's a class move. There, a monogram handkerchief. That's solid. By Sorry. the way, did you did you get your haircut? Oh. It looks different. Oh, I dyed it. Oh yeah. Uh, I only dyed like the top of it, so it looks like it's um, uh, it looks like a professional foil, but it's not. It's great. Well, when you do the hair tie, it looks amazing. I mean, all the whole ensemble. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm going down a rabbit hole. What I'm asking is, and I don't know if this is me talking or the energy in the house, which we have yet to confirm, mind you. Oh, there's energy I, here, dude. This there, is the it, it, there is energy. There is energy. What I'm trying to say is there's couple other bedrooms here and I'm finding that it was a mistake to move here and you're right Diane you're right Dave it was a stupid mistake and I too am lonely I have lonely bones I feel like a ghost alone in this house and I feel like this was a mistake and I want you guys I'll, I'm gonna pass you guys can share that I want you guys back in my life I mean I feel defeated I mean I I fuck pre-med. I mean, I just, I miss us. What? I miss us there. I said it. I said it. Fuck pre-med. Wow. I know. I know. This is very difficult. Here, let's hold hands. Let's hold hands. Let's hold hands. No, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. You, you, you. Yeah, uh, hold hands. Okay. Breathe in. The good, one, two, three, and out the bad. <sighs> and in the good, yes, I made a choice and I bought this house. And I hope you guys move in with me because the mortgage is horrible. And I just <laughs> made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> And you know what? Fuck it, fuck it, I'll get pa I'll take it, I'll take it, just I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Stan, is this really coming from you? What do you mean? <laughs> just kidding, I'm just totally kidding, you guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm totally yeah. kidding. You just see the looks on your you face. You had me. <laughs> this is what I missed. I missed this. Oh, here. Who wants? Who wants? A, who wants I gotta a hit. Bathroom? I gotta hit the head. Which is? Where's right. your bathroom? It's over there. Cool. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. And. Look, real talk, mm -hmm. I don't know how you're going to pay for this mortgage alone, mm -hmm. but like, good for you for like making a choice, you know? Yeah. And I think that's something you've always done. Like, you've always been able to like make a choice. Yeah. Right? And and then I follow through and then I come to learn the, well, talk about your schooling. I mean, you were, I mean, you, I mean, you were ambitious you studied, Diane, and you, for, remind me of your major again, I forget. Anthropology. Yeah, well, it changed so often there in the beginning, I, I couldn't keep up. So, so I, I mean, there's, there's, there's a future in that, speaking of bones, the lonely bones. Lonely bones, man. Yeah. Lonely bones. 
I forgot you had allergies, though. I, I really shouldn't have brought Eugene here. It's okay. Where did he go, by the way? You know, he hasn't Where did Dave been. go? I'm wondering if I should check on him. Yeah, I'd check. Okay. Oh, wait. Did you hear that? Yeah. Sounded like it was a coming. jar, like a ring on a jar. Yeah. Um, Look, maybe we should split up and I'll try and find Eugene and you try and find. Oh, oh, oh. Is he all right? David? Oh, shit. Uh, Dave, are you all right? I mean, you just you just jiggle the handle twice. Oh, uh, um, Diane, here, I'll just check on him. Yeah. Give me um, just a second. I'll be right back. Um, I, I hate to leave you alone like this. Um, uh, where's your no. dog, by the way? Where's your dog? I don't know. Okay, I'll be I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. I could get used to this place. I could, I could move in here. I could live here. I could see myself living here. This this actually, you know, it's a convenient location to downtown. Yeah, I could really, I could have a good time here. <laughs> Eugene? In the joint. <laughs> we, 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 we plan that. We plan that. This, you, know. you guys. Stupid. Sorry. This is going to be the party house. Yeah. Seriously, do you get a bunch of those monogrammed? Because I, I was thinking, to, now tell me the truth. Could I pull off like monogramming like a dress shirt? I was thinking about getting like a dress shirt with like the sleeves monogram. Do you think like I could pull that off? Yeah, the trick is actually you just go to like um, Goodwill and you find the monogrammed already with your. Oh, list. that makes sense. You uh, know what? Hey, I got, I do have to, did you jiggle the handle twice? I want to find any surprises in there, Dave. I need to, I'll, I'm going to step out for a second. Did I jiggle the handle? Twice. Yeah, there's a sign above that says Jiggle. Well, I know. Nice. Yeah, in Comic Sans, so you read Very it. Very funny, dude. Very oh. funny. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try. Like, I'm trust, but I'll be right, I'll be right back. I'll you be know right. what I want to do to the living room? I want to write Live, Laugh, Love in Comic Sans. I feel like if we, we stenciled that on the living room wall, that'd be hilarious. I love it, and I love the fact of stenciling it in Comic Sans, too. If I'm moving in. I mean, if we're going to do this, we should do this. I'm not going to move in and not put my stamp on the place. I mean, you got to just like get your paws on it. You got to put your paws on it. Put your paws on it. Speaking of, where is Eugene? I mean, it can't get far. I mean. How far uh, can he go? <laughs> it can only go this first floor. I feel like he could go, he's a capable, capable yeah. month. Yeah. He could go as far as he wants to go. Your talk is a metaphor for humans. I've often thought that. I mean, it's true, right? We could go as far as we want to go. What if, what if I smoked like this? <laughs> Yes, that's how you should smoke. If I close my mouth, I'm drowning. 
It's like I'm suffocating because I can't breathe through my nose. You got bad. You have like really bad sinuses. The worst. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy. Come on. Stan. All you... right, Stan. Stan. <laughs> Fuck, Stan. That's... If I didn't know it was you, I might get scared. That right. is... That's brutal. That's fucking great, man. Hey, um, let's order pizza. <laughs> I'm almost suffocated myself. <laughs> oh, that, hey, Diane, that mask is like you. Like, it's, it's stopping him from breathing. You've got a mask. It's just your sign. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're all wearing masks, right? We are. Sometimes the three-piece suit is a mask. Yeah, it's covering up for some insecurities and vulnerabilities. And again, I just want to thank, and had, had you talked about it while, and thank you for jiggling the handle twice, by the way. I saw the sign at first, I thought it was funny. And then I'm like, no, he probably means it. Like, he's not, it's not a, like a novelty sign. It's like, no, jiggle the hand. Well, if there was a poem that was like, hey, um, don't forget your friend, Julius Randall. Don't forget twice, jiggle the handle. I'm like, nah, that might be a bit, but like, this was a real thing. So yeah. So you again, had a pee and a giggle. Now twice on the handle, do a jiggle. Say, this is so you guys. I assume you talked about it. I mean, do you wanna? I mean, I need a yes or no tonight because I'm. I'm giving of, you a yes. I gave you a yes a long time in, dude. I'm You're a in? hardcore yes. Okay, let's hold hands. Let's hold hands. Let's. Your hold mistake it. is gonna be our fucking okay. win. Right. That's right. That's right? right, Diane. Fucking good call. Yeah, breathe in on the count of three. One, two, three. Breathe in the good. Memories, memories, memories. Open mouth, open mouth, open mouth. And out, whatever energy is here, we thank you for guiding us back to each other. And where the fuck is Eugene? Indeed. Where did he go? Eugene? Eugene? Huge? Eugene? Nothing. I guess we have time to find him. You guys want to split up? Yeah. Okay. Hey, this is a great globe. Yeah? It's a fucking great globe, man. It's a, it's a classy piece to add to the living room. Yeah. I mean, consider it yours. I mean, you can take it to your room if you want. But again, where that is, you guys have to duke it out yourself. All oh, right. I, yeah, I don't care where I sleep. <laughs> right now I'm sleeping in a twin bed in the closet of a dorm room, so. Well, you made it nice, Diane. You made it real nice. And I'm sorry I never visited you guys after you I wouldn't went. have been allowed on campus. Well, yeah, I, dude. I understand. I, mean, I just felt I just felt lonely and I, I thought about it. But that's why you're here tonight. So thank you. Take the globe, man. Take the globe. It's like a take. higher power. There's something spiritual, something else spiritual that's going on, you know? Yeah. I agree. No, man. I'm lit Damn, kill it dude lit. oh i found him oh, oh. oh. <laughs> uh, about that though uh he was just but, curled up yeah in, yeah in your tuxedo Why yeah, you oh, this thing laying out like he's, that? <laughs> he's in my tux who wants this who wants a bump like you were getting married tomorrow morning or something. <laughs> you gotta finish it. Okay. About that, uh, Eugene. Uh, uh, what about that? Um, uh, as you know, I got problems. We all got you require problems. a tux. <laughs> well, you know, uh, high class tough. problems. <laughs> Sin sinus. sinus problems and oh. allergies. Oh. Yeah. So the fact that Eugene is laying on that tux is not going to be it, good for whatever event. Yeah. We're going to be wearing that. I yeah, that's 
It was an Nothing. award ceremony. It's okay. I just which one? It was um ceremony to recognize those those that have been um um consistent in their schooling and proactive and studying, you know, to Buried make sure. the lead. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you guys. You're getting an award in consistent schooling? Yeah. You're getting a consisty? I'm getting a consisty. <laughs> That's what you lead with, man. Wow. All right. Well, I'm Was sorry. That this was all just some weird roundabout way to get to this. You are so humble, man. Seriously. Oh. I'm getting a consisty. Humble. I'm getting a consisty. And you guys have been there for me in the past, and I wanted to thank you. And I didn't, I was going to say something sooner, but I was in, in a weird place. Wow. But, but yeah. I'm proud of you. Yeah, man. I, I mean, if ever there was somebody who deserves it, it's you. Yeah, dude. Whoa. Thank you. Consistency. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, I'll just, I want to give you that speech. Yes. Speech, speech, speech. Okay. All right. Cool. I need to practice anyway. Um, I had something written, but. Um, all right. Here it goes. I'm a little bit high, but uh, oh, wait. You ready for it? I can't believe you just ripped your consistency. I know. I know. It's the new me. It's the new me. It's the new me. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And now we bring yes. Stan up to the podium. Gracious, honorable, and humble. It's my give friend. It, give it it's up for friend. Stan Lebowitz. Stanny Lebowitz. Stanny Lebowitz. Stanny Lebowitz. Stanny Lebowitz. Stanny Lebowitz. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my mom, my dad, but most of all, even though I have a hard time showing it, Diane and Dave, and I'm gonna say it, and this is gonna sound weird, and Eugene, and that energy on Ghost Lane, you have made me consistent. And so I take this, it has your guys, yes, your guys' names on it. I share this with you. We do not deserve that. Well, we do not. Yeah. I am the least consistent guy you yeah. know, dude. Yeah. Next to me, and I, least yeah. consistent. <laughs> I, 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 consistency. I share this consistency with you guys. Oh my God. Yeah. And, yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Solid speech, man. Thanks. Fucking great speech, dude. So proud of you. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need um, like a deposit or like a, I'm gonna need something like by Friday. Oh yeah, I'll demo you. First month, Matt, last month, of yeah. course. Like a, I mean like a, like a first month and a deposit. I mean, we haven't talked terms, but I just want to be secure in knowing that this this will work. So, sorry, I hate to. Sorry. No. No. You know what? You know what the number one thing to get in between friends is money. Yes. Right. I just thought I would say something now, so it wasn't awkward later. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Th I think it's prudent, man. Yeah. You. You. I mean, we could benefit from this kind of behavior. I'm yeah. learning a lot. I've already learned a lot. Yeah. I'll probably learn more as yeah. we go. Well, no, there will be rules. I mean, I'm already thinking of the signs I'm going to put up, not only in the bathroom, but here in the living room. And Oh, yeah. We got living room taken care of. Yeah. Live, laugh, love, baby. Oh, that's right. The, that's the yeah. living comic sans sense. Okay. And... Um, yeah, there, there will be rules, but we can get into that later. No, let's get into it now. Let's hash this out. All right, now. well, let's go around the circle. And then okay. I want this to be a collaborative effort. And then I, I can start. I yeah. mean, are you comfortable with that? Okay. You should start. It's okay. your place. Uh, okay. Yeah. No significant others unless um, 
again, I'm just spitballing here. No, no significant others, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, uh, unless you get written approval from me and at least 48 hours in advance. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say no insignificant others either without written approval from you. Yeah, well, can we just keep keep those insignificant others. Keep them out. We don't know. Yeah, we don't okay. need them. All right, no, guys. I'm again. I'm just trying to be real here. I, 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 are you? I hope you're not making a joke of this because I want. I want this to be no. a cohesive, consistent. Yeah. Consistent I, experience. You, I mean, you know, I live with Augie for three semesters. I know this. You don't have. And to. that motherfucker brought over the most insignificant people on earth. Okay. All, all right. Okay. Well, was it your turn officially? Is what I'm saying. So we'll go now. You to now to you, Dave, and oh, now to me. Yeah. What's your rule? Hey, all right. I'm gonna put back on the table. No insignificant others. I'm gonna. Well, put I, okay. I'm that's fine. I just wanted to make sure so it wasn't awkward. Yep. No. Good. Call, all right. Good okay. Diane. Um. Sorry, Augie still owes me $200. I had to get it out there. I've got no one to tell about this, yeah. but he fucking owes me $200 well, because when I moved never in, getting that. That's like getting blood out of a stone. We've all been burned by Augie. Fuck him. All right, Fuck sorry, him. sorry. And again, I should have warned you, but okay, Diane, go ahead. I mean, I don't really uh, have any rules. I mean, I, I suppose um, like maybe we could be pretty diplomatic about the way that we um, do dishes. Yeah, cool. Rotate that cycle, I guess. Okay. Are you, so I, then this leads me to a, a, a question, like a guiding question. Are you still, are you still vegan? I know I haven't checked oh, in. I fell off that train. Oh, okay. All right. Um, hardcore meat eater, hardcore. Okay. So dishes, so, okay, so let, help me to Diane understand. Diane only eats meat. She's on an Atkins thing and it's only meat right okay. now, a little bit of cheese, but that's about it, just meat. I'll tell you what I did. I realized that uh, Eugene wanted meat and I was like, well, I gotta buy that for him. So mm -hmm. it started small, I bought some bacon and then sooner or later, I was like, well, if I'm buying it, I should be eating it too. And then Hard it just call. spiraled. Work your way up. You don't want to. You don't want to jump in full steam. Smart call. Work your way up to eating a lot of meat. Yeah. Okay. So dishes. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'd like to add like a caveat to that. I think there should be like a rotation of dish assignments. That's great. So, so it's like it's my. You don't mind if I interject that now because it's kind of my turn. If we were going in a circle. Yeah my turn i just want to keep things consistent because you know yeah. award award I mean, okay that's uh -huh. great and do you want i mean do you want a turn in addition to that that seemed like it was a addendum so if you want to take another turn Stan, that's fine no no that's uh, well i guess I'll, I'll pose the question do you do you want an additional turn yourself because we could build like the rules tonight. In fact, let me here. I'll take this scrap of, I'll take my speech and I'll just, I'll just write these down. Good. So let's review. Uh, significant others. Got that. Got it. Need notice. It, insignificant. Insignificant others. others. Forty-eight hour notice. Got it. Um, dishes. Now, again, can you? Explain that one more time, Diane. Dishes. Well, I don't really know how to explain it. I, other than, I guess. Try miming it. <laughs> <laughs> or no, no, wait. Yeah, mime and your your jam, your poetry. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess if we're sitting here and I'm going to make one wish, it's that after you eat and you need to clean up, you're going to take care of your own dish. Dish. <laughs> dish. All right, I got it. Great. And then I, all right, was there more? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I think that's it. I think oh, that covers a lot. Okay, but and then, then uh, don't forget, I had the addendum 
which I've forgotten because I'm high. What is it? What, what did I say? I forgot already. I said something. Rotating, like a rotating schedule. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Okay, so we I'll just offer we can go around one more time, or we can or we can bookend this and cement it with the handhold. I mean, I'm feeling that, that energy from you, Diane. Okay. We're going Spider to figures. <laughs> All right, we're gonna breathe in on the count of three. And these are the new rules. These are the new rules. These are the new rules. And they are forever doctrine as we breathe out going forward with my two buddies. Sorry. Don't apologize for emotions, man. They're valid. Yeah. I wish I felt more of them. <laughs> yeah, right? Sorry, my handkerchief, which I took off. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Stan, you shouldn't apologize. No, man. Look, you're consistently unhinged. And we know that. <laughs> We've come to expect it. If you weren't this emotional, if you weren't a sobbing mess, <laughs> we would find a problem with that. Yeah. We'd be like, wait, who took over Stan's body? Who because took over? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, that, you have to admit that was that was that funny. Was pretty good. <laughs> let's do it for real. Just just let's just do it for real. Let's just do it oh. for real. Yeah. I mean, yeah. let's just do it for real. Yeah. Um, this time, like, no take backsies. Let's summon these spirits and really get after it. Okay. Um, I'll offer since we're now, you know back in the groove um anyone have any ideas how this could be more conducive i know consistency but conducive is kind of a block for me uh suggestions or maybe we just all need to really believe it just You're right. really believe it that's it okay get eugene we're break we need yeah, eugene get eugene Come on. Come on. Get Eugene. off that tux, man. Get Come off on, that tux. Come on, Eugene. <laughs> yes, bring the Eugene here. Put the little paws up here. Put yeah. Eugene's paws up here. Yeah. Yes. Oh. All right. Oh, Eugene. Go put your paws up. Put your paws up, Eugene. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to, I'm just going to use one because I'm a little allergic. But right. I mean, okay. Eugene is like, what? Eugene's what, like 70 pounds now? The huge dog. Huge. Um, the Rottweiler. We knew because of the paws. You always look at the paws. It was like, right. Eugene's going to be big. Eugene's big. Yeah. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank whatever energy is here in our new home to thank you for guiding us to this consistent, conducive moment that I will always remember because you guys, I know we've been through a few bumps and bruises, but I love you. Oh. I freaking love you guys. Love you all too. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you. Who's um, who's doing the dishes tonight? Cool. Scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh boy! Masks, <laughs> animals. It's an ABD break in the scene. Those are my it, favorite type of it. shows. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God! I, that I just I just speaking of awards, I think I won the award for the longest time improvising. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you for being my so my safety net during that. <laughs> so that was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
that's love not improvising. Comedy. That's just me. That's that's my that's my life. That's who I've become now. Yes, I am that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all that right now. We're just. <laughs> Yeah, the, the more I do it, the more I'm just like, I'll just make similar choices to what I would make. And in this situation, it seems to be a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I mean, do you guys find that since the, this new normal? I mean, this virtual improv, I mean, what is the new normal? What are the rules or are there any? I don't think there are. I think people are getting good at it. They're yeah. finding new things. Mm -hmm. I... I've been taking this class on learning more about like inclusion and diversity through Monica Gaga and Steven Davidson. And I did a scene last week that was all silent, but it was, it was a long time. And it was this sense of just connection. It was a very like intimate scene with no dialogue. And it was with someone I had never done a scene with either. Okay. And it was set up to be silent. So you knew that going into it, but there was a lot of stuff happening there that was really great and surprising because, you know, when this first started, you thought, how are we going to do this? This is just temporary and you're not going to have the same, you know, connection. It's like, no, I think you do. It's the more you do it, the more you go, Oh, how about we try this? Or I remember when AVD and I did a scene months, it was like six or seven months ago and she was there crying. I go, there's of that. And then this, no, well, <laughs> but I remember I gave I'm like here have a tissue and I reached like this and she took yes. a real tissue yes. and I went well like that was a big turning point I remember seeing that I was like that was always have one on hand you oh. always <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's I think it's great you can reach to, up to anyone you can reach out to people and go hey let's do a scene and the only time I've heard people say no is when people just say I just don't feel like doing virtual right now and and that's their right like a lot of people uh, are like eh, it's not for me but for the most part people are gonna say yeah and they have the time right now to do it so the more you do it the better it is yeah right i think people fear it's rather limiting but like like you said i think there's opportunities to be found in it that i i don't know that we would have discovered just doing stage work i don't know well yeah no, i think it's it's definitely it's forced our hand into something completely different, which is cool. It's, it's this, it's, we could do this or we could do nothing. <laughs> which do we, right now there's no in between. It's this or no improv at all. So it's up yeah. to each person to say like, oh, I, I wanna try it. And you don't have to put it out there on the, you know, on social media or in the internet. You could just do it without recording it or showing it. And it's going to be just, it's going to be fine. But I do think like the more we experience it, the more you look for different um, ways to add to it. And it's like, oh, what if I move my camera? Can I change my status if I, all right, if I move my camera like that, like now you could start really looking at it from the sense of like, it's more improv on film than anything. Yeah. What, what we're doing now. You're right. Um, Go ahead. I attended a, uh, a play the last weekend that was um, essentially like it was improvised, it was interacted, where I, I mean, it was written, but it was like it used improv elements. Um, the audience was interactive and it was like, of course, we're like, it was, and it was so fun and ridiculous, but. And that's what, that's the whole new level is that, and again, I'll look back at it, but I'm sure you have uh, viewers chiming in in the comments, Jay and, um... I think that's neat that there is that interactivity, which I think is yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think it's great. I think it's really interesting. You can start getting used to, you. I think when you're an experienced performer too, you kind of know where reactions and laughs would land. So you're kind of like, I'm pretty sure if this was live, there would be something. I think you're, you're, you're the more you've done it on stage, the more you're like, okay, I know that that this is going to hit or there'll be a reaction here. And now you're just shifting that to instead of hearing it, you're shifting it to seeing it. Now, I will tell you, I got Zoom bombed. That was part of a show that got Zoom bombed. Crazy. Oh, it was, it was a great learning lesson, but there were two people that were out there while the rest of the group, we were all like warming up. And it's like, oh, we should go to the main room. And you go in there and you just hear this murmur of a lot of voices. 
and the two of the actors are trying to be like, okay, everyone. And then the, the words got really offensive, really racist. And yeah. you're trying to shut down and you, it's like, it's like, it's coming from inside the house. Yeah. Like you don't know where it's one of us. <laughs> it's one of us. And you can't tell because also people don't have their real names up. You can't really see who's saying what. So, and, and unless How you, do have you somebody, deal, deal with that, you just have to shut it all down or well, yeah, eventually Michelle Gilliam, who was in the group, just said the right thing, which is like, shut it down. Like, just shut the show. Uh, and yeah. then you go, okay, we were trying to recreate having the live laughter. And you say what you, I think what you have to do, what you have to do is you go, let's pick a group of like 20 people that we know that are friends and family, um, Piero Procaccini, you know, people that laugh a lot. And yeah. you go, those are going to be the ones we invite in to keep, the, we'll have them keep their mics on because also it's not just the heckles, but it's also people forget and they're like, hey, don't forget to get the um, the food from the refrigerator yeah. and hey, turn off, I'm going to make a margarita. Like they forget also it's that. They think they're watching TV. So I think it can, I think it can work. But when you have in a regular theater, you have a bit of anonymity because the lights are down, but you turn the lights on and then people shut up a lot quicker. In this situation, people are putting in like fake, obvious what look back, you're like, oh, that's an obvious fake name. And then there's a bunch of them who are saying something. So then if they get kicked out mm -hmm. because it was a free, the link was publicized on social media, they could just come right back in. Right. So you're just like, Oh shit. And you're trying, then you're like, well, what if we just talk over them? Well then, but what happens with zoom is that will adjust. So then other people are going to, if they're louder, they take the focus of the audio. So it was a great learning lesson to be like, the only way I think it can work now is if, and also have people pay. If they even pay a dollar or put their credit card in, it adds a little more accountability. But if it's like a free show, people are fucking bored, anxious, and angry. And they're looking to be very disruptive right now because they, they got nothing else to do. So it's like, let me go. And somebody was saying like, hey, they said something to the effect of, you know, one of our hosts was like, hey, what are you doing? Like, you, you know, are you that bored and mean? And then the response was, look at you. You're doing an improv show on a Friday night. And it was like... <laughs> Well, point well taken, uh, but still, don't be a fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got a point, but yeah, rock. <laughs> when you're on stage in front of people and you're, it's you against the audience, the, the, the group can kind of come together. You've got maybe somebody working the door or a bartender, or at least the people on stage have that power. When you're dealing with anonymous mm -hmm. heckling coming from other places, it gets hard. So I think like, I'd rather do a show like we just did, which is like, ah, oh, people will watch. We can kind of assume and, and imagine where the laughs are coming, but we don't have to necessarily hear it. But I've done enough shows that I don't need that reward. I think people who are yeah. newer, that's part of the fun of this is I want to hear the laughter and the reward. So it's like, how do you find that balance, you know? Yeah. Well, you're doing it. You're, doing you stuck true to your word, Jay, and you are I am forging doing. ahead. <laughs> And I appreciate yeah, that. Exactly. No, you're speaking of consistency. You are consistently working with people since all this started. And that's what I admire is that um, you continue to do it. You're breaking, you're breaking into new territory and making it look very easy and fun. And you're very inclusive and you're holding the torch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I do love also, I love playing with both of you so much that any chance to be like, let's do it was really great. And, and Philip and I Thank talked about doing advice. this. Yeah, and then it was, he said, oh, I got ABD to like, a Twitter thing. And I was like, awesome. So it's, yeah. it's yeah. You, you doing these is a very, for me, it's very selfish because I end up laughing and having so much fun that it improves my day because I, I get out of a situation where yeah. it's like, oh, I'm just having fun and playing. And that just makes my day less, you know, it's less anxious. It's less, oh, this, the, the shit that's going on in the world is kind of removed for that yes. time. And you're like, oh my God, I'm talking to this person as a friend. And then I'm, I'm like, how'd you get an improv? And the stories are just fascinating. And then talk, and you're just laughing the whole time. So like, it just gives us a sense of connection that we just so desperately need right now. Yeah, I don't see anybody. 
<laughs> well, good. I mean, you can't. I was a very social butterfly prior <laughs> to all this. And <laughs> even those who weren't realize once it's taken away, you go, oh, shit, I was more social than I thought. Yes. I thought I was an introvert. Uh-uh-uh. Well, and I and thought, too, like, I... I used to, I got to a point in my life where it's like, I don't need to meet new people. I have the people I, but I, yeah. I saw them all the time. I love meeting new people. I've done three like events recently where it's like, I've never met these people before. And it's like, oh, I so took that for granted. Just meeting a totally yeah. new person. Yeah. <sighs> well, mwah. thank you both. That was so Thanks. fun. Thank you. I had a blast. <laughs> we'll watch the yeah. crown, Phil. Yeah, watch yeah. the crown, Philip. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, watch the Queen like Gambit. I will. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 <laughs>